what's going on there people it's the guitar story in here with you today so I recorded a 20 minute long unboxing of this guitar that I'm about to show you today and it's terrible and I am just so bad at unboxing videos because I'm so interested in opening it up and you know there's so many things with unboxing you have to take into account like it had cheesecloth on it you had to take that off you had to it was just all this crap on it and everything. And I just realized it's just not very interesting. And I guess unboxing videos aren't really for me because I don't really do them well. So what I'm gonna basically do is just a reveal, okay? I've, I've had this guitar for a day. I played it a bunch. Uh, I kind of, you know, messed around with it a little bit. And uh, we're gonna talk about this guitar. We're gonna talk about the story of this guitar because honestly, it's already been through more than you can say and if guitars could speak video would sometimes have um, well not this guitar personally but basically what happened was I ordered this guitar on reverb I paid for it and uh, waited a couple of days and the shipping didn't really go anywhere and I started to question like what was going on and they got back to me and they actually told me that what had happened was that the guitar had actually already been either sold or given to somebody else and they didn't take it off the website and they were really short-handed and there's a lot of stuff going on for covid long story short they made it right um obviously you know i wanted a certain color i wanted a certain type of guitar and uh it was something that they didn't just have a million of them lying around so they couldn't just send me a different one so i had to wait about a month it ended up being from fender for this guitar to get here it was held up a little bit by the fires out west which they can't really control that either but at the end of the day I ended up paying very little for this case I kind of upsold it he was gonna throw in a case anyway and I said well let me pay you a little bit extra for the tweed because I really love this tweed case and uh, you know we'll kind of um, we'll kind of do that so like I said the unboxing and like opening it up and all that stuff is just like it's boring and I just don't like them so we're just gonna reveal it and then you can let me know what you think all right and voila. So this is the uh, Fender Player Strat with the humbucker and the bridge. So it's the HSS style in Tide Pool. Um, and this case is obviously the tweed case. Got a nice velvet lining inside. Um, actually, now that I have it open, I want to throw my tremolo bar in here. I am never going to use the tremolo bar. It's just not part of my style of playing. I don't know, maybe as time goes by, you know, I'll kind of keep it as a as an option. Hey, my dog's barking upstairs or something. Move that out. It's a working house, people. There's people living here. So you see I got a tweed colored fender strap to go with the case because I'm insane. And now the strap's gotten all tangled. Gotta love it. You gotta love strap wars, right? When your strap gets all turned around. I also have these uh, strap locks on here that I bought a two pack of. I think they're only like four bucks. Fender makes them and they're just rubber pieces that go over the uh, strap button and it holds the strap in place and they're really uh, they're really good. I have one on my Epiphone too. But at any rate, um, so this guitar, like I said, is the HSS version. So really quickly, I want to um, just plug it in and we're actually going to go into the Fender because I was playing through the Fender yesterday and it's just like a Fender guitar through a Fender amp it just seems like you know it's magical it's just magical seems like a fun power button where is it? where is the power button slick? <laughs> You have the five-way selector switch, all right? So you basically go all the way to the top. You're going to get just the uh, neck single coil. Warm, bubbly Strat tones. To me, the second position here on the five selector switch is the most Stratish of the sounds that you can get out of this guitar. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus. Right, so you definitely have more of a vintage vibe. Then the middle position, I believe, is just going to be your middle single coil, which is, I know, not used by a lot of people, but uh, there's some guitar players that have used the middle position for kind of a warmer and uh, just kind of um, more rhythmic tone, I guess. <laughs> You go into the fourth position and you're going to have your middle hum, your middle single coil and your humbucker active now. Now to me it really didn't sound a whole lot different than having the middle pickup. There's just a little bit more kind of body to it. Um, but then when you go into just full humbucker mode, you know how much balls you get out of that. So even though you got the humbucker, it still has a very nice kind of strat, that little bubbly kind of tone. I don't know why I call it bubbly, it's just that kind of it's not it's not twang it's just more it's just the tone is definitely just a strat tone it's just that kind of just kind of sound that you get out of it you know that, that just like i don't know it's hard to it's hard to put my finger on and obviously i'm not good enough to really you know but as far as fit and finish um, is concerned on this guitar, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. And, um, you know, one of the things that I was afraid of is there's some videos or some pictures online of the Tide Pool where it has more of a greenish tinge to it. And this guitar is blue. <laughs> and I wanted a blue guitar. And this is the closest you can get these days with a Fender now. I know that there are some Lake Placid Blue versions out there, but they're generally more expensive, and I believe Squire's making Lake Placid Blues again. But I, I didn't want a Squire, I wanted the real I wanted the real deal. I dropped my pick. I got more. But anyway, um, the fretboard is really nice. It's a little bit of a hybrid, so you definitely have lacquer on the fingerboard itself, right? So it's, you can see, I don't know if you could see it in the light, but it does um, reflect the light pretty well. But the back of the fretboard is satin, and it's real nice. It has a very nice feel. There's no stickiness. There's no nothing. You just feel like your hand can kind of go back and forth on it. And this lacquer over the years is going to, is going to, you know, kind of just, we're going to, we're going to work it together. You know what I mean? We're going to wear it out together. So it's going to have that nice kind of vintage feel to it, I'm hoping. You know, this is going to be a guitar that I'm going to own for probably the rest of my life. It's just, I mean, I know it's just a player, it's made in Mexico, and a lot of people are like, it hasn't changed a whole lot. It has changed a lot. Um, the made in Mexico's that I've played, the ones from especially like the 2000s, um, to me are just kind of like, they're, they're no different than the Squires. And I could be a little bit wrong about that. I don't have a ton of experience playing strats, but I have played a couple, and my brother-in-law used to have a Made in Mexico strat, but I think that was probably like a late 90s, early 2000s version. And um, I just never really felt for it. And that's the reason why I became a Les Paul man and why I kind of stayed away from Fender for a really long time. But as I got older and uh, started to just play and especially when I won this guitar from Robert Baker the uh, Squire uh, the Esquire the, the classic vibe Esquire the quality control on it was just gorgeous and the, the neck was gorgeous and it's just the way that it sounds it's just so great and um, I was kind of really interested in just doing a real Fender guitar to, to add to the collection I never I never strat and I needed a strat so I got a strat um, two things I'm going to do to this guitar, because you know I can never just buy a guitar and leave it stock. The string tree. So, um, I think, yeah, the Esquire has a vintage style string tree, but 
my affinity telly i put an american professional string tree on it they're only like 10 bucks online and uh this metal uh, this metal i can already feel it it just doesn't i don't like it i don't like the strings being up against this metal i feel like they tend to break a lot with these types of string trees so i ordered a graph tech tusk string tree it actually comes with two so if i can i can you know if i want to use it on the esquire i can throw it on there too the other thing i ordered was uh, i ordered springs for the um for the back and i'm going to deck this because there's no way i'm going to use the tremolo and when you pull the tremolo in and you uh kind of up the tension on the top part of your tremolo it pulls the strings up and it makes this forces this down against the body so it's going to increase your sustain really the best way to do is to block it actually put a wood block in there but i don't want to do anything like adding wood or anything like that just yet i want to deck it see how that goes and then we'll go from there so i'll probably be doing a video where i put those two things on but you know you're going to be seeing more of this we're going to do a video that i'm kind of working on where it's a celebration of the stratocaster where i'm going to play a lot of um famous stratocaster tunes and uh we'll we'll have some fun with that but you know generally um i know we've been waiting for this guitar for a really long time and it's finally here and it's gorgeous and it's everything that i'd hoped for and uh that's pretty much all i can say you know it's just amazing so if you're looking uh for the player series strat and i'm assuming the telly is probably just as nice i would say go for it because uh they're really good and watch my video about reverb and how to get a good deal on Go back in, it's been like five or six videos back. Watch the video, it's only like three minutes long and it'll save you a lot of money. So you've been warned, don't pay full price. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.